Ladies and gentlemen, our winner, Shaban Baka. Uh, Lord Mayor, thank you very much. Uh, good evening, everybody. 16 years and 48 days ago, a terrible thing happened here in Dublin. About a mile and a half from here, across the river, it was April 30, a very special day in Holland, as it is the day the Queen has her birthday party, even though her birthday is January 31st. It is a day filled with festivities, running sack races, games of biting the cake, people selling and buying stuff in parks, children earning some money playing the violin or singing a song. But above all, it is a day for hard drinking in the streets and making a mess of it. And that's the reason Queen's Day is April 30, for usually it's too cold to drink or make a mess in the streets on January 31st. Here in Dublin, another queen was preparing for the evening hoping to earn something by singing a song, wishing it to become an orange night. After a couple of years of relatively unknown singers or musical stars, the Netherlands had decided to bring a heavyweight into action. A singer, almost 50 years old, who was a woman of great merits, both as a singer and an actress. A woman who could, or so we thought, just stand on a podium and sing a song. No dancers, no show, just a singer and a spotlight. She wore a black dress with organic-like applique stuff on half of the upper body. She was number 13. Number 12, 12 were Chris and Moira of Malta, who performed More Than Love. And number 14 was Mercado from Germany with We Geben Eine Party with the unforgettable lyrics, the, wo is the party, baby? <laughs> wo is the party, baby? After the applause had died away, there were a terrifying full 10 seconds of utter silence before the orchestra finally set in. The song was called, Waar is the Zon? Where is the Sun? And it, it is probably, or so many people in Holland think, one of the best songs ever from Dutch Eurovision Song Contest soil. It is sentimental up to a point where sentimental sentimentality doesn't count anymore, but its lyrics are also shockingly honest and the build-up is perfect. And Willeke Alberti, for it was she that performed the song, sang like somebody who has sublimated all the things that had happened to her in the previous almost 50 years of her life into those three minutes. Her marriages and her divorces, her hits, her flops, her children, her dead dogs, the smell of rain after a hot day in the middle of Amsterdam. Where is the sun that will have to warm me? Where are your arms and where is the source? Where is the light that will shine at last and that will drive away the cold? I'm looking for your face. All this in Dutch, of course. In those days, it was not a choice to sing in your own country's language. It was an order. I forgot all about this, uh, not being a big song contest fan anyway, until last week when I was listening to a male choir performing in Amsterdam. The evening was hosted by Dolly Bellefleur, a very famous transvestite, and she couldn't resist the opportunity to sing a song herself. She sang, Where is the Sun? And she talked about Willeke Albetti in 1994 in Dublin, about the outrage when, at the end of the evening, the Netherlands were left with four points, quatre points, all from the Austrian jury, for which we thank them eternally. And we repay it by going skiing there every year in our hundred thousands. Dublin, I'm used, and the terrible thing that happened there. When I came home, I listened to the song a couple of times on YouTube. I reconstructed the evening. That's why I know that Willeke was wedged in between Malta and Germany. And that's why I could describe her dress. I thought, how is it possible that nobody in Europe on that night of April 30, 1994, felt what Willeke was doing? 
In a strange and for me rather inexplicable way, I feel very connected to Willeke Alberti this evening. I feel it's fitting that this literary prize is not awarded in Cork or Limerick or Waterford, but here in this city. I will not dedicate this prize to her. I'm quite sentimental, being from West Friesland, a part of Holland where farmers cry when a cow dies, but keep a straight face when their mothers are buried. <laughs> but I am not that sentimental. I could say that after this I will go home and try to get in contact with Willeke Alberti and tell her that I, in the city where she, in a field of 25 countries, became 23rd with only Estonia and Lithuania doing even worse. <laughs> that I have found the sun, the strong arms and your face, whoever that face belongs to. But I know that I'm too shy to do such a thing. The simplest way to end this speech is by reassuring you about this Dutch singer. Her career did not end here in Dublin. She went on singing and acting and is still going strong. And of course by thanking the jury for rewarding my song with this wonderful prize. And instead of going on for another three minutes, which I could easily do, I will have Willeke sing her song one last time. It seems the right thing to do. <laughs> 